In this example problem, we write electron configurations for three different cations. Our problem reads, write the electron configurations for lead 4 plus, iron 3 plus, and silver plus. We'll start with our periodic table. We can assign our different blocks to the periodic table. The S block is our first two columns, including helium. Our P block is the last six columns. Our D block is our transition metals. And our F block is our inner transition metals. According to our rules for quantum numbers, the S block begins when n equals 1. And we can continue numbering down for the rows. Our P block begins when n equals 2. And we can continue numbering down. Our D block begins when n equals 3 and continue numbering, and our f block begins when n equals 4. Now we can find our electron configuration for lead, and then we'll adjust it to create lead 4 plus. We'll write the shorthand electron configuration. So the noble gas that precedes lead is xenon, and then we're filling our S block with cesium and barium, and that's the 6S2. Then we need to move through our F block, so 4F14. And then to go to mercury, that's our D block, 5D10. And we have two additional electrons in the 6P subshell. Now we have our electron configuration for lead and we need to adjust it for the electron configuration for lead 4 plus. When we create the electron configuration for a cation from the electron configuration for the neutral atom, we remove the number of electrons according to the charge from the highest principal quantum number. The highest principal quantum number with electrons is n equals 6. So we'll first remove the two electrons from the 6p subshell. Next, we have to remove the electrons from the 6s subshell, because 6 is our highest principal quantum number. Notice that we do not remove electrons from the 5d, which would be the reverse of the order in which they're filled. We have to remove them from the 6s. So what's left is our electron configuration for lead 4 plus, which is xenon, 4F14, 5D10. Next, let's write the electron configuration for iron. To write the electron configuration for iron, our noble gas that precedes it is argon. And then we begin filling the 4S subshell with potassium to calcium. So it's 4S2. And then we have six electrons to move over to iron in the 3D subshell. So iron's electron configuration is argon 4s2 3D6. To adjust it for iron 3 plus, we need to remove three electrons. And we remove them from the highest principal quantum number. So we remove two electrons first from the 4s subshell. And we still need to remove one more electron, so we remove it from the 3D subshell. And what we're left with for iron 3 plus is argon 3D5. Next, let's write the electron configuration for silver. The noble gas that precedes silver is krypton. The next electrons go into the 5S subshell. And then there are nine additional electrons to get over to silver. We may think that this is the correct electron configuration for silver. However, one of the electrons from the 5S subshell actually makes it into the 4D subshell to fully fill our 4D. This is one of our exceptions when filling our transition metals. Silver has one electron in the 5s subshell and 10 electrons in the 4d subshell because this is a lower energy orientation for our electrons in our orbitals. 
Now that we have the correct electron configuration for silver, we can create our electron configuration for silver plus. We need to remove one electron, and it gets removed from the highest principal quantum number, which is the 5s subshell. And what remains is krypton 4d10.